Hello there folks, welcome back to the Chaps Guide. My name is Ash and I am your host on this journey through men's style, self-development and personal grooming. Now, the other day I realised that the three-year ownership point of my Barber Kyle wax cotton jacket had sneaked up on me. I can't believe I've owned this for three years. And I thought it was a suitable time to give you guys an update on how it's been performing, because maybe you're at a point in your life where you're thinking about buying a wax cotton jacket, or barber particularly, and it's good to know how they last over an expended, extended period of time. So I did an initial review on this jacket after I was given it as a 50th birthday gift by a close friend of mine, and then I did another review after one year on the back. Well now, after three years, I think I have really come to terms with this garment, and it's time to let you know my thoughts. Now, one of the first things that you realize when you buy a barber jacket is that you're not just buying a piece of outerwear. You are investing in a whole new atmosphere of style in your life. Because basically, when you own a barber jacket, you start to notice other people are into the wax cotton thing as well, uh, particularly if you spend any time in the outdoors. And you kind of become part of the barber clan. And it's interesting that barbers design hasn't changed very much, it hasn't evolved very much at all, and yet today it is as trusted and as used by the professionals who use them every day, like farmers and outdoorsmen who wear them for work, right across the spectrum of sartorial attire, right up to the king who has awarded the royal warrant to Barber, and it is the jacket which you frequently see him and his mother the Queen and father the Duke of Edinburgh in the past wearing when they were out and about at their country pursuits. Now one of the more remarkable things that I've enjoyed about my Barber jacket is this timeless design thing they've got going on. I've actually heard it described by people as the Barber jacket is the Land Rover of the coat world. And I guess what they mean is the Land Rover is the go anywhere, do anything vehicle of the world and the Barber jacket is the outerwear version of that. Now if you look at a Barber jacket from 40 or 50 years ago, there's not much to see as any evolutionary process. They very much look the same now as they did then, and I'm sure there are many 40 or 50 year old barber jackets still being worn today, because they are very, very rugged because of their simple design process. Now, whether you own one of the Bowfoots or one of the more modern, more styly versions, they all have that timeless element to them. And I have found mine to be very versatile in daily use. You know, because, I mean, as you can guess, I spend a lot of time in the outdoors. I live in a rural environment, and when I pop into town or anything like that, I will throw on my barber jacket as my sort of de facto go-anywhere garment. But similarly, if you live in a city, even a big city like London, and you wear a suit, it's perfectly socially acceptable to throw your barber jacket on over the suit and there you have an ensemble which is good for any uh, walk of life, be it the woods or the streets. This is one of the things I've come to enjoy about barber, the fact that they sort of transcend uh, normal sartorial hierarchies where you wouldn't typically wear what I would describe as an out-and-out -out utility garment in an urban environment. But actually Barber somehow has managed to overcome that and has now got a foot in both camps. And there's something about the qualities of a Barber jacket which makes it feel like an old friend when you put it on. Maybe it's the corduroy collar or maybe it's the, you know, the tartan padded lining inside. Whatever it is, they become, you become quite attached to them. And actually, it's a good job you become attached to them because they can be around for quite some time. Their durability is superb. Now, in three years, I've been wearing this garment day in, day out, particularly in the cooler months. It tends to be my utility garment of choice. Whether it's raining, whether it's you know just cold, 
it's always you know the right garment to reach for somehow it seems to tick all of the boxes but in all this time not a single stitch has come undone not a button has come loose not a popper of a pocket has you know no longer functions as it should so from that point of view from the durability of three years of pretty hard wear i'm really happy and for me it feels like this jacket is only just starting to get going. You know, it's just passing its probationary period because we're many, many years off this, you know, really uh, reaching its prime. I think it's still in its early days with me. Now, one of the things I would say about the barber jacket is I haven't re-waxed mine. And that is a personal choice. Barber recommend that to keep your uh, jacket optimally water resistant it's best to re-wax them every year and basically that can be achieved by doing it at home so you get you know you buy yourself the little pot of wax you heat it up you paint it on i gotta be honest i didn't really fancy that but the alternative is you can send it back into barber and they will re-wax it in the factory setting so i dare say it's a lot more expensive to do that haven't tried it yet but you will get back a factory finished product which I th and, and I actually saw the other day that they're now offering this service in certain department stores. I saw it in a, a John Lewis department store in Cardiff. So that you can take your jacket in and they will re-wax it where Barber have a concessionary stand where they offer this service in the stores. So, you know, it's getting a wider thing. The reason I didn't choose to have mine re-waxed was just personal choice for a couple of reasons. Firstly, the truth is, waxed cotton, wonderful that it is, it is not the equivalent of a modern waterproof performance fabric. Something like Gore-Trex, ProShell or something like that, which are resistant to water and also allow the body to sweat. When I go out in torrential rain, right, I will typically reach for my Gore-Tex jacket. I won't reach for the barber. I've come to choose the barber as my sort of everyday utility garment rather than my worst of the wet weather garment so i've made a practical choice in the way which i wear this garment i think of it as a bit like a combat jacket as a soldier would wear you know it's the thing you put on to go and do the jobs but not necessarily if it's the worst weather in the world that was just a personal choice i know if i waxed it every year it would be a lot more water resistant but i'm choosing to allow that wax finish to sort of wear away and that's the second reason why I've chosen not to have mine rewaxed, is because I rather like this special, unique patina which is starting to form as that waxy sort of outer layer is now dying away where the elbows bend and you sort of rub against things. That patina is changing with the jacket and I really like it. So as I don't want to wear this as my primary bad weather garment, I'm more than happy to allow that pat patination to take place and enjoy it. And you know, the fact that it's not so waxy to touch, I quite enjoy that as well. So personal choice, but if you want to keep it super waterproof, get that waxing done every year. So ultimately, as a review video, this is going to be fairly short because the jacket is performing exactly as it was intended. It's working perfectly. Nothing has failed. And if anything had failed, I know that I could just send it back to the factory for a refurbishment, for a repair, and it would all be sorted out. Or I could do it myself or send it to somebody locally. You know, that's the beauty of owning a garment maybe of, you know, like cotton construction, opposed to some of these new more man-made fabrics, which are less repairable by the ordinary person. So that's something I really enjoy that. The sustainability credentials. I like the fact that I'm aiming to keep this jacket for at least 20 years. And, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing how it's going to age as that time goes on. Uh, and yeah, no problems at all. Nothing is altered. In the winter time, I normally layer it up. So it's uh, November here in the UK. It's not terribly cold. So I'm just wearing, you know, a light uh, sort of um, sweatshirt under my garment right now. But in the middle of winter, I can throw a, you know, a sort of uh, thick knitted sweater under it, woolen sweater. And it makes me the equal of sub-zero temperatures. Whereas when it's a lot warmer, you can just wear a shirt underneath. That's one of the beauties of the flexibility of having cotton, a naturally breathing, a breathable fabric. And when I'm out in the woods, I also like the fact that even though I'm sort of pushing through bushes and you know you can hear the brambles sort of trying to get purchase in the in the material. Um, 
in a normal garment it might cause runs or damage or even rips you know in the wax cotton it just seems to skate over the top so it has been a very practical garment to wear in daily application in the outdoors and as some of you may know I spend a lot of time outdoors I'm heavily into bushcraft and this is the bushcraft jacket which sees me through the winter months so from that regard I've been more than happy with this garment and I look forward to taking it forward I've even considered buying another barber jacket one of the heritage models because this is a Kyle model and that means it was manufactured overseas most likely in Vietnam or in Eastern Europe I would love to try one of their British manufactured models, their heritage ones, their elite pieces. Uh, these are obviously the ones worn by the king, not the models which are made in Vietnam. So I'd like to try one of those and I may well invest a bit of money in it. But then I think to myself, what's the point? Because this one is wearing so well. Why do I want to throw you know, more money at a garment which is perfect already? So we'll see where it goes. So in conclusion, after three years, running perfectly. I'm loving it. I'm wearing it every day and it just gets look it just looks better and better every time I subject it to the elements and each season that passes it looks a little bit more unique and a little bit more of a pleasure to wear. It's now an old friend who I reach for when I need the comfort of having a garment that works in all of the elements. So there we go. I hope you've enjoyed this three-year review of my barber jacket. If you have give the video a thumbs up if you'd like to see more, subscribe. If you'd like to support the channel, you can just leave me uh, a comment in the comment section. You can drop me an email, let me know your thoughts. You could buy me a coffee, which is a one-off thing, or you can even become a patron because I make additional video content each week for my patrons and we've got a bit of a personal relationship which is different to the main channel. And you can find all of that information in the show notes below. So, until the next time, take care. Wear your jackets with pride and passion in all of the elements, as I will. And I will see you again very soon.